Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to be making a cake. A yellow cake. You can get any flavor cake that you want, cake mix that you want. But I am going to only be putting a can of soda in with it. I have a generic, you could put a Sprite. I have a generic lemon lime soda that I am going to mix with them. I'm going to mix these two together. I'm going to grease the pan and we are going to cook this. Now, I seen this, I don't know, four or five months ago. And I don't even remember which site I've seen it on. But um, I remember writing it down, thinking there's no way that's going to work. There's no way. So, today I'm going to make it for you guys. Anyways, um, let's get started mixing it up. All right, everyone, I just rinsed this bowl out. So you can see there's nothing else in there. An ordinary cake mix. Now that probably won't get open, so I gotta get a knife. All right, so just an ordinary cake mix. Any flavor you want. Like I said, I had vanilla in the, in the um, cabinet. Or yellow, not vanilla. And I have a, a can of soda. So, we're just going to see how this turns out. This is what we're doing. I'm just using the whole can of soda. Now, do you guys believe this is going to work? Because I... I'm not positive this is going to work, but we're going to find out. Okay, can of soda. Oops, made a mess on the floor. I probably should get my little blender, huh? You really don't even have to blend it. All you have to do is just mix it up. I think I'm going to grab my blender. So I'm not sure what all you're seeing. I have these. I have a blender. Here we go. And we're just going to blend it up. think think it's gonna work guys let's find out all right everyone who thinks it's gonna work and who thinks it's not gonna work I mean, it's, it's thickening up pretty good. So I had my doubts. It might work. There's no eggs in here. What is it regular call for? Eggs and, eggs and water. Eggs, water, and oil, I think it normally calls for. So all we're using is a can of soda and the cake mix. And it smells so good. You can actually eat it because doesn't have any raw eggs in it. It's delicious. <laughs> okay. So I have the I have an aluminum pan. I have the oven heating on 350. As soon as we put it in, we will it's actually on 370, but as soon as we put it in, we'll put it back down to 350. Alright, let me get some some grease for this pan. Definitely grease the bottom of your pan, guys. I don't know what pan you're going to use, but you, you'll be sorry later. If you, don't, if you don't grease that pan, you're going to be sorry. You're going to be like, damn, it's so hard to clean up. 
you know, unless you're using cupcake things. I'm just going to um, grease the sides and everything. All right, there it is. And here we go, guys. Never tried this before in my life, so it's my first time trying it with you guys. All new cooking videos, guys. I'm going to be doing normal stuff. I'm going to be doing crazy stuff. Just whatever. Whatever. If I see a recipe that I want to make, I'm going to make it for you guys. Let's see. There we go. Is it going to rise? I have no clue. I mean, I don't know what it's going to be like. But I know one thing. I'm going to eat this. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. All right, guys. There it is. Um, it's going in the oven right now. And I think... I don't even know how long I should put it in there. I'm going to try 20 minutes at first and then pull it out and stick a, um, stick a, um, toothpick in it because this right here, I don't have glasses. There they are. This right here says 350 minutes. Oh, it says, no, it says cool for 15 and 20 minutes. Let's see. How long do we bake? 350. Follow time below. Okay. Well, this is saying 34 to 38 minutes. I'm going to try 20, let's try 25 minutes. Let's try 20 minutes. All right, so I'm going to put it in the oven. As soon as I do, I'm going to turn the oven down to its normal temperature. I'll probably do it down to 355. That way, because my stove is messed up. You guys do it at 350. Yeah. Anyways, I will see you back here in 20 minutes, guys. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. All right, everyone. It's time to check it. Now, it's only been 20 minutes. What the heck is that? All right. All right, everyone. It's time to check it. I'm going to pull it out really quick so that way I don't um, lose too much heat. Come on. Looks like it might be getting brown on the bottom. Okay, let's jack it up so in case I have to put it back in. All right, guys. Look, guys, I got this 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 pot holder at Pop Shelf. It was ninety percent off. I can't remember what I paid for. I think I paid like I don't know. I think it was like less than fifty cents for it. And I got a bunch of um, dish towels. It was two packs. I know this is off the subject. One was pink and one was white. There were two in a pack for 60 cents each. For 60 cents for the two. I couldn't believe it. I bought every one of them. All right. So we need a toothpick. Off subject there. Um, it looks pretty good. I don't know how well you guys can see it. It's not too hot. Here's the test. It doesn't look like it's done in the middle. Okay. It's definitely not done in the middle. So we're going to put it back in and we are, I just, it just sunk in the middle. So, um, I didn't think 20 minutes was going to do it. So I'm going to do at least another 10 minutes. So that would be 30 minutes. I'm trying to get that, um, up to the temperature. The bottom looks like it's already brown and some, all right, we're going to go back in for another 10 minutes. But I think I'm going on the top shelf now. But it did sink. It definitely sunk. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Stop All right. Now. We'll be back, I guess, in 10 minutes, unless you guys want to sit and chit chat. Um, I've been sitting here making TikToks. Um, look, guys, I got my little cut that part out earrings on. Can you see them? They're a little um, pair of scissors. Cut that part out. Cut that part out. <laughs> oh, I, let me show you something else I got. 
Y'all ready for this? <laughs> oh shit, turn the light off. Cut that part out. Cut that part out. <laughs> I love it. I got it last year. Um, it, it was a Christmas thing. I got it last year for 75% off. I don't know why it was a Christmas thing. Director's clapboard, clipboard. It says clapboard. Cut that part out. I like it. I'm going to put like Marie's Life vlogs on it. And maybe every time I cut that part out, we'll cut that part out. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was funny. Okay. Anyways. We're waiting another 10 minutes for this cake. I think it's going to be okay, except for it, I watched it drop. So I probably should have just did 30 minutes. I was going to do 30 minutes. I don't know why I always second guess what I'm going to do. Why do I do that? How many of you guys do that? Um, it seems like it's, oh, almost. Seems like I always, like I'll think, okay, I'm going to do it for 30 minutes. And then I second guessed myself and only did it for 20 minutes. Like, you know, it said 35 to 38 minutes. I should have known at least 30, but it's okay. We might have to do an extra five minutes. You know, I don't know. I don't know how, how the icing's going to look on it, but I really don't care. Um, I got, let me see. I got green icing and blue icing. And I don't know if one of these little things is going to be enough to ice in the whole thing. So if not, I'll use them both. But if so, I have another cake mix I want to make. It's a chocolate cake mix. And it, it's, you're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe how I'm going to make it. Um, I won't be making it into a cake. But it's a cake mix. But you'll have to wait and see. I probably won't even need icing for that one. That's probably, it probably won't. So, if I have to use both of these, it's alright. Um, I have lots of videos that I want to make pretty soon. I'm going to make you guys um, a two ingredient biscuits. Um, I'm going to make some hush puppies. I'm going to make some potato soup. I'm trying to think. I have all these recipes and I already went to the market and got most of the stuff to make this. So, um, that's all I can think of right now. But I think there was something else, but I can't really remember. Um, so, I'm going to make it all for you guys. Like I said, all new cooking videos. Like if I cook a roast and it's nothing special from what I've cooked in the past, I'm probably not even going to film it. I'm trying to cook and do just crazy off the wall things like like this cake mix. Who would have known if it even works that a so cake mix and a soda would make a cake or whatever, you know? And the, you know, I I kind of like spooned the bowl out and ate that. That was really really good. Um so we'll see. Crazy off the wall things and if it works for me, you guys need to try it. Especially, you know, you can get a dollar box of cake mix. You can, at the Dollar Tree, you can actually get a dollar twenty-five can of Sprite. But, but if you get that tall can of Sprite, don't use it all. I use a small can. Um, you know, just a regular, what is it, like 12 ounce can. It wasn't a very big can. But um, it mixed up perfect. I couldn't believe it. Mixed up perfect. So, all we're doing is waiting it says I have five minutes left, five minutes and 17 seconds left. Um, and then, of course, we'll get it out. We'll make sure it's good. And then I will let it cool for a little while before I put the icing on it. And I'll bring you guys back. And then we'll do the taste test. Um, I, that's my favorite part of the whole cooking video is doing the taste test. Because I get to sit down and talk to you guys and... I get to taste the yummy food. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Alright, so as soon as that timer goes off, we'll be right back. Alright guys, it's time to check it again. Here we go. I don't know. Looks like the belly plopped out of it. It looks funny. 
where it's sunk in the middle. It looks really funny. Oh, it might be done this time. Yeah, it looks like it is. Let me find a big fat part. I can tell this part is. It was just in that middle that did not get done. It's done. I want to show you guys the middle because it looks like it looks like we laid an Easter egg on there. I'm going to show it to you. Oh my goodness. Can you see where it looks like we laid an Easter egg on there? That's where it sunk the first time. It is completely done this time. So, I suggest making it for 30 minutes. You know, you could even probably do 35 minutes. But, um, it's completely done. That middle is where I would have needed to check it. So, we're going to let it cool. And when it cools, I'm going to come back with you guys and I'm going to frost in it. So, um, definitely leave it in 30 minutes. Maybe even 35 minutes. Okay. Um, I'll see you in a couple minutes as soon as it cools off. Alright, everyone. It's a little warm on the bottom but it's not warm here too much I'm gonna go ahead and frost it can't wait to try it we are gonna use the blue frosting because um, if it doesn't take it all or if it doesn't need the other can I'll save the green for st. Patrick's Day for something so blue vanilla frosting but you look how look how small they've shrunk the containers you know they used to be double this so, it might not um, go as far as we want it to go. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to tilt you down up here. All right, everyone, there it is. I'm gonna get the rest of this out in here. It's probably just food coloring that dyed it blue because it's just vanilla. Hopefully I can spread this throughout the whole thing. I think I can. So we don't need a whole bunch of icing. Although a lot of icing is good, huh? <laughs> Have you guys ever tried this recipe before? And let me know in the comments or come back and let me know if you guys make this. Because it looks delicious. I had my doubts that it was going to work. But um, I think it did and it looks delicious. Spread some that way. It's gonna be it's gonna be thin in spots, but it'll be all right. Come on, come on. We just need a little bit more. Come on, Get off my finger. Oh, it's good. I was trying to like fix these spots over here on the edge that are kind of thin and then over here on this edge it's kind of thin there we go it's pretty much done what do you guys think yummy who wants a piece grab it all right everyone I'm going to cut me a piece and um, have a piece of cake with you guys. <laughs> okay, looks delicious. Here we go, we'll just cut this side. It's cutting pretty good. It feels, just by the cut, it kind of feels like it's thick, um, thicker than a cake or not as fluffy, if that makes any sense, as a normal cake. All right, let's try this out. We'll just leave this beside us. 
Let me get a fork. I'm gonna have blue teeth and blue everything here. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Now it's the time to test it out. How many of you guys, right now, right now, who thinks it's gonna taste good and who thinks it's gonna be gross? I think it's gonna taste good. I just don't know what the cake is gonna taste like. It looks like the cake, see how sometimes, sometimes cake rises more and it's more fluffy? It feels like it stayed short. Mmm, it is, oh my gosh. It is really good, but I think it kind of, the cake itself, I think it kind of tastes like a pound cake. You guys know what a pound cake tastes like? It's definitely not risen high and fluffy, but um, it's delicious. So if you don't have eggs, you know, I, I used to like get really pissed off. I'd go to make a cake and I didn't have no eggs. You don't need them. Pour a can of soda in there. Oh, it's good. Can't wait to see if Tyler likes it. I probably, you know, like some, I like it when the sides are really brown. Not crunchy, but do you know what I'm talking about? Like the sides are a little harder. Maybe I could have left it in. So I only left it in, what, 30 minutes, I think? Go 35 minutes. Go go what it takes for the cake mix. It wouldn't matter. Um, but it's good. It's completely done. It just I would I would have liked the outside a little crispier. Or a little firmer or whatever that is. But look at that. See how it is on this side? I don't know how well you can see it. Probably can't see it. It's good though. I'm having my dessert before dinner. I need to find out what Haley thinks of it, too. Mmm. It is so good. Definitely tastes like a pound cake. And that blue icing is really good. <laughs> Mm. So next week, or the week after, I'm going to make you guys another cake a different way. It's actually not going to be a cake. It's going to be like a cake, cake cookies. So, all new recipes, like I said. Hopefully, I don't make nothing that's exactly the same as I've made in the past. I might make a couple of things because I love that ricotta cheese chicken. I love the cream cheese chicken. Um, I just been trying to find new things to make, you know, my whole life I cooked, kids didn't like onions, the kids didn't like peppers, the kids didn't like tomatoes, the kids didn't like nothing. They liked chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese and french fries and hamburgers. I mean, they really didn't like nothing. So my whole life, even my, my first husband didn't like nothing well he didn't like onions and stuff my second husband did not like onions um so instead of making three different ways or two different ways for me and for the kids and for the husbands i just made it the way the kids liked it because i needed the kids to eat i didn't have money to go buy an extras to make different you know what i'm saying so for golly my whole life I didn't cook with onions. I didn't cook with whatever. I didn't have tomatoes in the house because, well, I mean, I had tomatoes in the house for like tomato sandwiches, but like to throw tomatoes in anything, the kids wouldn't eat it. You know, it's just like, you know, it'd just get wasted. So I'd have to just buy like one tomato. Anyways, now, you know, Haley does eat tomatoes now. Haley does eat things. She'll eat onions. Um, but, you know, Back when they were little, they wouldn't they wouldn't eat nothing. Mmm. 
now it's time for me to cook for me. And if somebody comes over while I'm cooking and they don't like the way I cook, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my turn for me, right? Right. Mmm. Wow. This is good. I am, um... I'm going to be making potato soup. I think I told you guys that. Homemade hush puppies. Homemade biscuits. Two ingredients. Coming soon. So, keep your eyes open for those videos. This wasn't bad. Only thing I would have did different was cook it a little bit longer to get the outside a little browner. And I wouldn't have taken it out at 20 minutes and made it, because it sunk. Maybe that's why the inside tastes, tastes like it's pound. Like it's, it didn't rise, it, it flopped. That's probably why the inside tastes that way. Because it was rising until I pulled it out too early. So, I'll try it again another time and see if that's why. Mmm. That is delicious. I'm going to have pink or blue teeth and blue lips. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more new videos, more new cooking videos. I am going to start some craft videos. I've got my house. I got it organized a, a lot better than it was. I got the back porch organized. I've been working on the garage all, excuse me, all this last weekend trying to just like organize the totes and condense stuff and go through stuff and I threw away, now, a 13 gallon garbage can, <laughs> I threw away one, two, three, three full 13 gallon garbage can full and then um, a whole box, a whole box of just garbage. I threw it all away and um, that all came from the garage, every bit of it. So what I'm doing is I'm, I got pictures out there, I got I got to go through pictures soon. So once I get the little table, I'm going to get one of them fold up tables in here and I'm going to start organizing all the stuff from the garage, all the pictures and frames guys, I, I might make videos doing this. All the pictures and frames are coming out of the frames, I'm going to... I'll just have to show you. I'm going to like do my own little scrapbooking. So um, hopefully you guys are interested in that too. So stay tuned for that. It is so hard um, when anybody's home. So today, Tyler and Haley don't get home until, you know, 5.30. So 6 o'clock, whatever, 6.30. Um, so today I decided I'm going to get out there and make a video. It's just hard when they're in the house. I mean, I come out to the kitchen to do something and all of us, well, first off, nobody's in the kitchen. Nobody's out here. Nobody's doing nothing. Then I come to the kitchen to do stuff and I got her over here and him over here and it's, it's aggravating, especially when I'm trying to make a video. So I'm trying to make the videos when nobody's home. So yeah, anyways, stay tuned. Hopefully next week we'll have our yeah, next week you'll see the potato soup. I've never made it before. New recipe. We'll see if it turns out. I love you guys. Go try this cake. Don't pull it out so it doesn't flop. Because I think that might be why it... But it tastes like a pound cake. It tastes good. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with it. So when you go to make that cake and you ain't got no eggs, who cares? Pour some Sprite in there. I don't know about any other soda, but Sprite worked perfect. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.